Good morning and welcome back into Morning Moments with Jesus. Maybe grab you a cup of coffee this morning and ease into your favorite chair and just spend a little time in the presence of the Lord today. This morning, uh, the Lord takes us to three different verses, uh, one from the Old Testament, two from the New, to convey one thought about who He is in our lives. Today's subject matter in our devotion is called The Standard. It's coming out of Malachi chapter 3 and verse 6, James chapter 1 verse 17, and Hebrews 13 verse 8. And listen to these three verses together as they convey one thought about our Lord. For I am the Lord, I change not. And every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever. When I read these verses this morning, it takes me back to my childhood when I was learning my alphabet. And I was in school and had a, just a wonderful teacher named Bessie Shelton. Uh, was not only a great teacher, was also one of the most godly women I've had the pleasure of knowing. And as we began to do our ABCs, uh, across the top of the chalkboard were all of, of the letters. And so she pointed out to those letters and told us to start writing in our big old notebooks with our big old pencil. And then later she came by and as she looked at my paper... She noticed that I started off very well, but by the time I got to the bottom, I pretty much had a mess. And her instruction was to always look back up at the board, at the letter, and write, not on what I had just previously written. Because as the Lord takes me back to that story over and over in my life from my childhood, what He speaks to me is... If all I look at is what I did yesterday and try to duplicate it today, then slowly I get away from the standard. I get away from the way it should be. And so if every time I would look back up at that letter and write instead of what I had just written on the line before, then I noticed that all of them pretty well looked the same. And here's what the Lord is trying to speak to us this morning. There is a saying that we have in this world that says, I have a standard I live by. But the trouble for that is, if it's your standard, or if it's my standard, it always is changing. It's always what suits us at the moment. And here's what we're in danger of if we're not careful. We will gauge the standard in which we live by, by the way someone else lives. I'm not as bad as them, or I'm better than them, or maybe I need to live up to that kind of standard that that person seems to be. There is a world in which we live in that tries to give us a standard. There's a different perspective on what's right and what's wrong, what's good and what's evil, what should be tolerated, what should be accepted. And all of these things are coming at you each and every day. But the Lord says, I am the standard. And if every day you would get up and align yourself with me in meditation, in daily devotions, in spending time in prayer, in spending time in my word, then every single day you will begin with the same standard in mind. You know that the word of God says that Jesus Christ is the chief cornerstone. And basically what that means is when you're building a house or whatever you're building, there is a point in which you start with and everything is squared off of that point, aligned and leveled off that one point. And no matter what happens with the rest of the house, that point never changes. And so today God encourages us. Stop looking at the world to give you your standard. Stop looking at what you did yesterday or last week or last month as as a gauge of how you should live today. The Lord says that's how we get off track. We need to every single day align ourselves with only one standard, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, the same today, 
and the same forever. No matter what the world says is right, only Jesus can say what's right. And He's not about to change. So I pray that blessing over you today, that you would walk in spirit and truth, that you would align yourself each and every morning, whether it be with morning moments with Jesus or whether it be through some other means, but you align yourself with Christ in every single day, just like Miss Bessie taught me years and years ago, keep looking up to the standard and you'll never go wrong. I pray you have a great day today. I pray God's mercy and grace be upon you. For he is the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father lest they go through Jesus. Be safe, be strong, and be blessed. And be that person who says, Christ is my standard. Have a great day.